The second line for water kefir. And we've also got another premix. Again, I spent a lot of time developing the absolute right mineral balance for this kefir. So this is a blend of Rapadura sugar, basically evaporated cane sugar. It's very, very pure. I've actually seen the process. It's so pure. It's coming up with, on donkeys and people crushing cane. and It's very, very clean product in terms of a chemical content. It's got molasses. It's got a little bit of salt and some bicarb in there as well at the perfect ratio that I've formulated after many months in the lab. Mm. And this is the secret to good grains. So just to get a taste, this extra thing, or what is it for? Taste is one and also to help it to nourish the grains so they can grow and produce you know, all these healthy benefits and probiotic organisms to maximise it as best as we can. But you could just have it like normal water without that. You have to add sugar. Oh. You have to ha add sugar. This is a premix. You could make it. There's recipes out there where it's just sugar and grains. Doing it this way is more fail-safe to work because we've put all the R&D into developing this to make sure it works and it's consistent. And this is the same product we use in our production as well, so we know it works. Sugar content wise, that's a premix, what it looks like. It's all blended up. It does produce a beautiful flavoured water kefir as well. So about a tablespoon, you can go you can go up to a couple of tablespoons, which is fine. So how many batches is one of those packets? These packets last. So this is around 150 grams. You can use probably a tablespoon at a go. So roughly 15 grams a batch. So 10, 10 batches. Yeah, 10 batches. Yep. And so we just give this a mix. Like so. Can we get the water kefir going around, huh? You didn't did you pass it? No, beautiful. Just give it a quick stir, and you'll notice that you might see some black bits in there that are not dissolving. That's perfectly normal. That's just sugar. It's just insoluble sections of sugar, because this is a very pure sugar. It's just evaporated cane juice. Now, important point here to note is that Sugar is, is not great for us, we know this, right? Too much sugar is not good. Sugar is used in the ferment. So the sugar is converted to acid. So the longer you leave it, it goes from quite a sweet tasting liquid to sour liquid. Now it's up to you how far you want to take the ferment, what level of flavor you want to use. And this takes about 48 hours. Again, I recommend open if you want less alcohol Now this one can produce a fair amount of alcohol so be mindful with this one yeah <laughs> it, might, it might be a good thing have a kefir yeah yeah and that, this is a good point here to explore that most store-bought product is not proper kefir or kombucha because they have to regulate the alcohol content. Don't blame the producers, it's just the regulations. Hence, you're always gonna get the best product by making it yourself. There's one brand that I think does it properly, is the fermentary as well, but I think they're gonna get an alcohol license. They got it? Yep. So that's the, that's the, um, that's the gist of it. Any questions? 24 hours, is again? The, the mm -hmm. lead, you said like one side is for milk, one side is for water, is it marked? You'll, you'll see, no, 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 it's a very good question. You'll see that this one is bigger. Oh, okay, for the milk. And that one is, yeah, th th this is for water, oh, okay. and that's for well, milk. We'll the other way okay. So, so is that one 24 or 48 hours? Do you for, 48. 48. This one's 48. Again, guys, use your discretion, because it's going to vary based on the temperature. So you might have to leave it a little bit longer. Okay? And does it go in the fridge as well when it's... Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. The, be the best thing to do is strain into a bottle. Mm -hmm. We have these bottles as well, if you want to get them. Strain it, store it, and keep it. Now, a quick note on second fermentation. This is when you can do things that are very interesting. 
So once you make your water kefir, you can strain some of that water kefir into a bottle. And I'll show you how to do it. So clearly this is not ready yet, but I'll show you the process. Yeah? And this is how easy it is. 24 hours, sorry, 48 hours, it's ready, it's done. Lid open. And these are special bottles that are designed for high levels of pressure. Please don't use cheap bottles because these are like creating bombs. There's a lot of pressure <laughs> and I've seen customers <laughs> send me pictures of explosions in the ceiling, wow. bottles blasting in the pantry. So please do this carefully. It is, this is serious business.